In this tutorial, you will learn about viewing element information to capture your simulation results. In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to set up a table in the BioWin album. In addition to charts and tables, you can also add pre-formatted element-specific information to the album to view element-specific steady-state simulation results. BioWin has two preset element information displays for viewing in the album, state variables and summary. They provide a quick means of displaying information about a particular element in your configuration. I have a configuration open. Let's add information to the BioWin album on the aerobic bioreactor and the settler. Let's start by adding summary information for the aerobic bioreactor. To begin, open the BioWin album by clicking on the Album Toolbar button. Select Add Page from the Album menu and click OK. Right-click on the Album page and select Element Info from the pop-up menu. This opens a dialog box. Select Aerobic from the drop-down element list and click on the Summary View Radio button. Click Close. We will add a similar element info summary table to the album for the settler, but using a different method. Close the album and move the cursor over the settler in the drawing board. Right click and select the add to album element info summary command. If we open the album by clicking on the album toolbar button, the new table should appear on a new album page. The summary display is divided into two main parts. The upper pane lists concentrations and mass flow rates for various compounds in the selected element, while in the bottom pane element-specific information is listed, like hydraulic residence time and oxygen uptake rate. This summary information will differ depending on the type of element. For example, we see an OUR for the bioreactor, and if we switch to the settler summary, we see an overflow rate. In the right section, general information is displayed about the selected element, such as the element name, and where appropriate, physical data, such as the element dimensions and temperature. The location indicates the location in the element where the compound data are obtained. This could be the output or underflow, depending on the element type. You can control the location in the element from where the data are obtained by clicking the Options button. Note that this may not be appropriate for all element types since for certain elements, like the effluent element, the location is irrelevant. You can also change the bottom pane to display water chemistry instead of element-specific variables. The display also allows you to resize the columns in the left sections where names, concentrations, and mass flow rates are listed. You can hold your mouse over the vertical line which divides the columns until the resize cursor appears and then either drag the column over or double click it to expand the width of the column. You can also use this method to change the space allocated in the pane for each section. Next, we'll add an element information display for state variables. Let's close the album and move the cursor over the aerobic bioreactor in the drawing board. Right-click and select the Add to Album Element Info State Variables command. Now when we reopen the album, the new state variables display appears. The upper pane of the display lists concentrations and mass flow rates for all of the state variables in the selected element. For example, it contains the concentrations and mass rates of different organisms, as well as the different fractions of carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. In the bottom section, the same element-specific information is displayed as was previously shown in the summary display, which again will change based on which element you are viewing information. You can easily export a table to a word processing document or spreadsheet. Just right-click, Select Copy from the pop-up menu, and then choose Paste in the destination application. 
Note also that the element information will be included in the Word document that's generated when you choose BioWin's Report to Word function. You can also view information about the elements in your configuration in the BioWin Explorer. We can access the Explorer by clicking on the Explorer toolbar button or by holding the Control and E key on your keyboard. The Explorer window is split into two panes. The left pane displays an expandable, collapsible outline of the elements that make up the current configuration. The elements are grouped by element type. The right pane displays information related to the selected node of the outline and will be updated each time you click on any branch of the outline in the left pane. To expand the nodes in the left pane, click on the plus sign, and conversely, you can click on the minus sign to collapse the nodes. Expanding an individual element node will display the state variables node and, if appropriate, the parameters node. Clicking on the state variables node for an element causes the right pane to display a list of the current values of all of the state variables for that element. Looking at state variables is a great way to learn more about what is underlying your simulation results. Clicking on the parameters node for an element causes the right pane to display a row of the local model parameters for that element. When an element node is selected, double-clicking on a row in the right pane will open the Properties dialog box for the element in question and allow you to either edit physical, operational, and monitoring settings. This is equivalent to right-clicking the element on the drawing board and choosing Properties from the resulting pop-up menu or double-clicking on the element icon on the drawing board. When the parameters node is selected, Double-clicking on a row in the right pane will open the Local Model Parameters dialog box for the element in question. This allows you to edit the local model parameters. You can also easily export information from the right pane of the BioWin Explorer to a word processing document or spreadsheet. Again, just right-click in the pane and select Copy from the pop-up menu and Paste in the Destination application. This concludes the tutorial on viewing element information to capture your simulation results. Please see EnviroSim's video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.